Hello and welcome back to uh, part two in the uh, coding section for the lesson number eight in uh, bootloaders. We will be going ahead and looking at the assembly file and basically kind of tweaking it and making it the, the way we want it to be made. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump right into that and we'll pull up MP Labs. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create the project and everything because you will have to change up uh, compilers. You'll have to use the MP Labs uh, assembler that comes with it. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to grab our project wizard. We're going to get our 886. Click our next. And then we're going to get up here and we're going to change this from our CCS compiler. We want the uh, microchip MPASM tool suite, which is the assembler. And we use this top one. Click next. Now we'll create our project, which we'll keep it into the lesson eight. I'll put it in our bootloader folder. We'll say lesson eight bootloader tiny. Good enough for me. Okay. Now here's where you want to make sure I've already copied into my bootloader folder those three include files along with the assembly uh, file so basically you want to make sure and get all four of those files so click all of them click add add that to the project and finish now we're set up to do our to do our deal now let's go ahead and open the assembly file all right now basically with our four megahertz crystal, so that's what this is, this is our 4 megahertz crystal, you can do 19200 baud. So you want to remember that because then when you set your settings in the in the provided program, uh, you want to make sure you choose 19200 for your baud, otherwise you'll get uh, errors in it and it won't know, you know, you'll get just problems obviously. So now another thing is you want to look down here and you see this dot dot slash. Now probably with other assemblers, I can't remember the exact assembler they used to build their hex files with, but the, I don't think they used MP Labs. So um, it recognizes this as, you know, basically the parent directory. Um, for some reason, MP Labs IDE, it will give you errors. So all you got to do is just take it out. So we'll just remove that. Remove this one. Now, down here, down, down here is your configuration bits. All you want to do to make sure the mem clear gets turned on properly is what I do is I comment the, these two out, which you know the semicolon is the comment in assembly, and uncomment this section. Because if you notice, this section has find here, there it is, mem clear on. You definitely want that configuration bit to be set. Now, if you don't want to use, if those of you that are more used to doing it through MP Labs, you can comment all of this out and come up here to configure and you want configuration bits uncheck configure bits in code All right, settings in the code yes we know now you can actually set your configuration bits so you can set your mem clear um, to internally of course you want it to be function is mem clear you want it to be used and you can set your other ones if you want to so it's whichever you want um, it'll work either way um, in fact, let's just do it this way. And then we know that th that way. And then we know that that's going to be configured. Uh, watchdog timers. We don't need any watchdog timers. Uh, reset. Let's look at our oscillator functions. Uh, that's fine. The code protection is disabled. That's fine. Write protection is disabled. That's fine. Write protection off. Uh, reset. Oh, we don't. Yeah, that's fine. Reset four volts. Print function. Low voltage protection is enabled. Uh, yeah, it seems like that's all, fi all fine. The main one is that M cl mem clear. So then all you gotta do is you just compile it. Go up here to your build all and hit it. Oh, and this uh, we can just use uh, relocatable. That's fine. So if you move the code around, and then we get our build succeed. Hooray! So now build succeeded. So now we can actually then flash this on. So what you're going to want to do now is basically back in your folder, let's go back to our, our folder here in our bootloader. Now we have our hex file. 
So now, this is very important. What you want to do with this hex file now, <clears throat> you can't use the bootloader unless it's on the chip. So this is the only flashing that you'll have to do for the chip. You have to flash the bootloader to the chip or, or burn the chip with the bootloader. So you'll take this, put it in your programmer, um, whether it's the ICSP type programmer and circuit serial programmer or a uh, you know just a regular one with like a ZIF you know that just USB programmer like the ones that I had mentioned in the programmer lesson on how to program a chip and you just flash this to the chip and you just use that hex file and get that on the chip and then once you got it on the chip then you are ready to go so you'll have the bootloader on and you're ready to start um, using your RS-232 and program it that way so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here and we'll pick up with the uh, sample program that I've written that we can flash to it.